Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Celebrated for its well decks and surface connectors, amphibious ships are known as small aircraft carriers. But that doesn't mean they are not as powerful as their larger predecessors. Step aboard a day in the life of U.S. advanced amphibious ships operating 24-7 at sea for a captivating journey. Commonly called an LPD or Landing Platform Dock Ship, the military's Landing Platform Dock is a maritime powerhouse with impressive specs and capabilities with ample storage, a versatile well deck, and advanced systems, it excels in amphibious operations worldwide. Setting sail on May 11, 2015, USS Anchorage leaves the sunny shores of San Diego. As a multifaceted member of Amphibious Squadron 3, USS Anchorage is a critical component of the Essex Amphibious Ready Group. Somewhere in the Indian Ocean, USS Macon Island, Somerset, and San Diego sail the U.S. Sixth Fleet area. Known as the Macon Island Amphibious Ready Group, their tight grip on the seven seas is unmatched. On February 18, 2017, the flight deck of the amphibious transport dock ship USS Green Bay was abuzz with activity. Prepared to battle anything in finely pressed uniforms, military personnel diligently managed the flight deck operations. Against the backdrop of ocean and sky, this orchestrated dance of sailors underscores the ship's dynamic capabilities. Meanwhile, an aircraft handling officer directs the flight deck and manages aircraft launch and recovery. Like a constantly moving jigsaw puzzle, the flight deck stands as a hub of activity. Ready to launch and receive aircraft, the ship plays a big part in amphibious missions, training, and global response. With precision and practice skill, CH-53 helicopters gracefully descend onto the deck of the LPD. As the aircraft approach their designated landing spot, the rhythmic thumping of rotor blades filled the air. Clad in safety gear, a team of deck handlers stands ready to guide the helicopters in. Showcasing the well-choreographed coordination of this maritime ballet, the powerful downdraft from the rotors creates a flurry of movement on the deck.
Skilled in both air and sea forces, teamwork is essential for the LPD's mission in amphibious operations around the world's oceans. On August 7, 2021, the 31st Marine Expeditionary Unit, or MEU, immersed themselves in the maritime fervor of their vessel's landing platform dock storage capabilities. With unwavering passion, these military pros orchestrated the staging of the M142 HIMARS, a symbol of formidable power. In this immersive training, the HIMARS becomes more than a weapon. It's a testament to the excellence in vehicle upkeep and maritime readiness. From bolstering ties with allies to teaming up with partners, the Indo-Pacific realm is in safe hands. Prepare for an exhilarating journey back to Okinawa on March 30th, 2015. That's when the USS Green Bay sprang to life, catapulting super attack helicopters into the sky. With thunderous power, these machines ascended, ready for a symphony of ship-to-shore maneuvers. Against Okinawa's jaw-dropping coastal beauty, the helicopters navigated with precision, carving a path through the air. As they touched down on land, each mission became a heart-pounding saga, showcasing the USS Green Bay's prowess in bridging sea and shore. Capturing a moment of dynamic mastery, the USS Green Bay is a pristine example of an advanced amphibious ship's captivating naval performance. Step into the heart of exhilaration on December 8, 2020, as the former captain takes you on an awe-inspiring journey through the labyrinthine corridors of the USS Arlington. As you traverse the ship's expansive decks, a dynamic symphony unfolds showcasing the synchronized ballet of crew members immersed in critical operations. Venture deeper to explore the intricacies of life within the LPD's versatile hull. A nexus of human effort and cutting-edge technology, harmonizing in the pursuit of maritime excellence, this immersive experience unveils the USS Arlington Soul, a truly advanced amphibious ship that's ready for war at any time of the day or night. Most of the Earth is covered in water. That means the United States Navy brings this capability to like 90% of the population in the world uh, that live by the sea. Uh, that facilitates the United States Marine Corps' missions of, let's say, amphibious assault, raids, demonstration, uh, close air support. Um, lots of times we do humanitarian assistance, foreign humanitarian assistance, disaster relief, that kind of thing. All this happens from either our flight deck or this well deck where our vehicles, whether they're aircraft or amphibious uh, craft, are launched and recovered. In a thrilling display of maritime might, 
the USS Anchorage, a stalwart San Antonio-class amphibious transport dock ship, set its well deck ablaze with amphibious operations during the electrifying Dawn Blitz 2017. This dynamic exercise was more than a mere spectacle. It was a strategic masterpiece. Designed to forge an unbreakable bond between Navy and Marine Corps units, Dawn Blitz hurled them into a high-stakes scenario. Amidst the pounding waves and echoing gunfire, these valiant forces meticulously orchestrated an amphibious assault. Roaring to life with live fire events, they etched their prowess against both land and maritime threats. Like artisans of warfare, they crafted expeditionary advanced bases, honing their naval amphibious core competencies. The horizon witnessed not only ships, but the dawn of excellence. Amid the salt-kissed winds and the restless dance of waves, a saga of adventure unfolded on the bridge of the USS Mesa Verde. Bound for Haiti, a land in turmoil after the fury of a hurricane, the navigators stood as modern-day explorers, charting their course through the vast expanse of the open sea. With hands steady on the helm and eyes fixed on starlit horizons, they wove a narrative of skill and determination. Their voyage was not just a journey across waters, but a testament to humanity's unwavering spirit. Amidst the waters of the Gulf of Aden, aboard the USS Portland, Marine Corps Corporal Delano Glass, a dedicated food service specialist from Combat Logistics Battalion 11, 11th Marine Expeditionary Unit, shares insights into his military role. The ship, a stalwart presence in the U.S. 5th Fleet Area of Operations, stands as a guardian of maritime stability, bridging regions through the western Indian Ocean. In his words, Corporal Glass embodies the unity and commitment driving naval operations, ensuring security across strategic choke points. Lance Corporal Patrick Katz's video captures a snapshot of their mission, a testament to the essence of duty and service. In a quirky and unexpected scene amidst the rolling waves, the tough Marines of 4th Platoon Company C, 3rd Assault Amphibious Battalion, 1st Marine Division, found themselves in a makeshift barbershop aboard the USS New Orleans. Off the Mexican coast on June 12, 2010, these rugged warriors weren't just conquering battlefields, but taming their unruly manes. Who knew that amidst the serious deployment, a haircut extravaganza would steal the show? In the heart of the ocean's theater, advanced amphibious ships unveil their hidden might beyond the label of small aircraft carriers. With well decks and surface connectors, they echo the power of larger vessels. While these ships tirelessly operate around the clock, they truly reveal a captivating tale of maritime prowess. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.